Today I'm going to show you something that will change how you use Ripple Edit and Rolling Edit in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey guys, this is James Prince and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So here in Adobe Premiere Pro, I have already placed some clips and I want to edit the clips. Suppose I want to change the position of the clips. Usually what do we do? Suppose I want to edit this clip here on this bit, right? If I play it back, you can see there is a bit drop. So here I want to end this clip and I want to place the next clip from this position right so normally what we do we select the clip then maybe we click and drag to trim out this section then you may click and drag this one here to match it and again you have to click this one here right so if i play it back now it is looking cool so so if you want to do the same thing using ripple edit and rolling edit then it will make your job much easier right here is a tool section and if i click and drag there is some tools this one ripple edit and this one rolling edit suppose i want to match this position here so if i select the rolling edit now i can click and drag it and i can place it here so i don't need to do anything else right so this clip is synced to this bit point right again if you want to change it to ripple edit you can just click and drag this then you can change the position here it is synced here on this bit point right but the cool thing is that you don't need to change or select the ripple edit tool or rolling edit tool every single time it will change the tool automatically depending on the clip that you selected right so how you can set it up you need to go to here on the edit panel and from here you have to go to preference if you're using mac then go to premiere then go to settings or preference from here you need to go to trim if you click trim then this panel will appear and from this section you need to enable this one which is allow selection tool to choose roll and ripple edit right so just click here to enable it then click ok now every single time when you are selecting the selection tool and if you want to change the position suppose you want to change the bit point here you can just click and drag it it will automatically change the position look if i take my cursor here on this cut point right the selection tool is changing to ripple edit right and again if i go here it is changing to rolling edit now if i click and drag it it will ripple edit this section if i want to roll edit then i have to click and drag it just like that right so that will save a lot of time when you are working with a lot of clips so that is all for today i hope you have understand how you can use ripple edit and rolling edit feature in adobe premiere pro to boost your editing process that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you are new to this channel want to learn how to be premier pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye